Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 3038, where we have 20 moves to pop six popcorn. So I've got four here and two here in isolation. So these obviously are going to be pretty tough to get to. I'll have to get through that licorice first, and then of course we've got the barrier of space. So we need some ranged attacks, preferably like stripe, stripe draft combos, color bomb, color bomb combo would be perfect. Uh, but it's going to take a while to get there. And first, we have to probably get through most of the barriers here, including these popcorn, which are fairly easy, or relatively easy anyway, and then these popcorn, which are kind of tough as well. So I want to use the fact that I only have four colors on this board to try to make some specials. But specials themselves aren't going to cut it. I'm going to need some combos if I'm really going to get this done. That wasn't quite a combo, but it was extremely helpful. I think I can make a stripe here. All right, and I can make another stripe. But can I make a color bomb with purple? Yes. And now what can I set that with? That's the question. I could make a stripe here, but it's too far away. I'm going to do this and see if it creates any situation for me. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take out all blue from the board. It's going to strike this, which is going to open this up. Plus, it's going to concentrate these colors down and give me a better shot at making more matches and specials that I need. I'm going to do this. Can I make a color bomb with the green? I don't see it. So I'm going to do this. Let's pop this. I only have five moves left. Not going great for me, is it? I think what I'll do is I'll take out another color to concentrate things down. I think this time I'll take out all orange from the board. It's setting off some of those stripes that we had set over here. And then I get this. Now the question is, do I do blue wrapped or make another color bomb or do blue striped? If I try anything other than this, things might explode. And while I'm making this stripe, this might get set off. It might explode this and everything falls. Um, and I've got a blue here. I wish I had a blue here. This would be a no-brainer. But if I do stripes, it still has to get through this licorice, and I only have three moves left. I have to be brave and bold and try this and see what happens here. Still not going to be enough, but I got fairly close, right? That's my, that's my perception of how things went anyway. So on my first playthrough for recording purposes, I was able to make it so that I only needed to open up the two really difficult popcorn. Now this isn't listed as a hard level, but I don't think it's easy, so I'm not surprised. If you just want to see me beat this board, I'd advance to the last two or three minutes of the recording. Otherwise, I'm going to keep trying this using the same strategy, I think, because it worked really well, or looking for other strategies if I just need to tweak it a bit. I'll pause the recording and meet you back here with some more lives. Okay, I double-checked. We used to have more moves on this board, and when they reduce moves, sometimes they don't adjust uh, the difficulty level. So yeah, I'm going to call it and say this is a hard level, and we shouldn't expect necessarily to get it done right away. But what I like to do is set myself up to try to figure out ways to get it done in fewer moves. What do I need then to tweak? And I think here, what I want to do is take out colors that aren't very prevalent so I can make some special combos, but then also look at ways to make cascades. Cascades can be brilliant. I've got the opportunity to make a stripe. Can I get an orange over here? Well, if I do, this one is going to match up, so that's not necessarily going to work. Could I move this over? No. So I'm just going to, oops, hello, go for the stripe. My fingers work. If my fingers work, I'm going for the stripe. Okay, I don't have any spectacular here, so I'm going to go for this cascade. You never know what might happen. Look at that. So that was very valuable. This is going to hit this and pop it up once. This, each of these, 
Plus, it'll go through this and hit this licorice. It can't go through the popcorn, but it will go through the frosting to hit that licorice. And then this is also going to take off and hit this again. So this is a good matchup here. That helped. Color bomb. Stripe. Hopefully it's not going to all set off. And now I've got blue, and I've even got a blue here. So I like the odds here of being able to get some progress done on this board. Nice. Now, here's the thing. I want this with this, but I've got funky things in the way. And if I take out all purple, this is going to help here. It's probably going to bring all the green together, and I'm not going to be able to control it. So I have to decide what the best move is for myself. And I'm just thinking it's not necessarily blowing things up right now, but maybe it is. I could just do a stripe and blow this up and take out the most prevalent color, which I think would be purple, which would probably bring the green all into alignment. What if I take out this green? And then what if I do this and blow things up? Well, that still didn't work. I got it from this side. <laughs> but look what I can do. Okay, and I could make another rat. I mean, color bomb. But I don't think that I'm going to be able to improve much on this. I know that I've got this licorice here. Obviously, a color bomb, color bomb combo would be what I, you know, could use to really help this board. But that's not what was lining up for me. So I have to take what's available. Okay. Oh, I, that went off way too soon. I wanted to wait until there was a gap in the licorice. That licorice just keeps coming right on top here and making life tough. Ah, uh, oh, I need one more turn. This would so work. And, you know, if I had five more moves, this would not be a problem. If I were you and if I were super stuck on this board and I hadn't played it just twice, what I might consider doing is taking a switch hand, moving this to here. That would likely give me a color bomb orange setup. With color bomb orange, due to the fact that I've got orange here, then I would likely get the win for that. But I'm doing it without boosters, at least for a little while longer. So the good news is seeing that tells me that I'm on the right track. Now, I don't want to bore you with 752 of these playthroughs. So I'm going to pause the recording and go to a new board and only give you the ones that I think are going to be valuable. And I think that one is valuable. So I'm going to leave that in the recording. I'll meet you back here in just a bit. Okay, so this looks like a bit of craziness. I can make a stripe here, a stripe here. I'm going to go for the wrapped. Um, because I've got things that need to get opened up over here. Oh, look, we made color bombs with our amazing cascading. Once we set things off with that wrapped candy, we got the cascades to help out. I like that. I could do this, which is nice. It's a nice striped wrap. I'm going to try for a color bomb first. Oh, that didn't work. Thankfully, this is still here, and I just lost one turn in all of that. So let's set this off. It's also going to open up some of this licorice here. I like that. This one's a very explosive board. I'm seeing a lot of activity right away. But how do I parlay that into a win? Because now it's kind of slacked off a bit because my, my popcorn is you know disappearing here and I wasn't able to make full use of it by matching it up because everything just kind of went off on its own. Now I'm going for cascading over here to see if I can get things to work. I could do a stripe here, I could do a wrap here, I could do a stripe here. I'm actually going to do a stripe here. Oh here. Now I'll do this and then if this exists I'll put this together. Nope. I'm going to put this together because this will take out all that licorice plus hit the popcorn. Well, I say all that licorice. Why, why do I never remember that it's not going to take out all the licorice? Okay. Tricky this. 
Now I need something just as spectacular, and I don't have it on this board. What if I can get a purple through here? I can't. Oh, but look at that. Okay, that's craziness, and then look what happens. Got it. Because I'm looking for that color bomb wrapped candy combo once I've got the players down here in place. So even though it didn't work out for us that one time, knowing how things could work out helped us to set it up for the future. It requires a bit of luck on the board, but it requires a lot more skill than one might imagine. And so you just really have to contemplate each move. It's tough to do because you don't know where things are going to cascade. But use the fact that you only have four colors. Go for those cascades to see what amazing things can happen. That's where you're going to see a big turnover on the board. And then you can see things kind of create themselves. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. That in total was my ninth playthrough for recording purpose uh, purposes. And as always, thanks so much for watching.